Since materials are made up of both positive and negatively charged particles, any material can potentially break down and become a conductor if a strong enough electric field is present. For example, when we observe sparks and lightning, we're observing the breakdown of air. The breakdown occurs when an electron is accelerated over a distance, and it gains sufficient energy to strike another electron, knocking that one free, and then causing a chain reaction. Eventually, there will be conduction on a macroscopic scale. Air is made up largely by nitrogen gas. These are N2 molecules, two atoms of nitrogen bonded together. In order for the molecule to give up an electron, 15 electron volts is required. And let's say that the average distance that an electron travels before striking another nitrogen particle is 5 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And let's say the average distance that a free electron travels before striking another nitrogen particle is about 5 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. What must be the approximate electric field breakdown strength of this sample of nitrogen gas? I'm going to draw the electron. Here's the cloud in which we find our electron. And let's say that there is an electric field pointing to the left. We have to analyze the work and the energy. The particle needs to have a displacement of 5 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And if it helps, think of a person physically pushing that particle from where it is to its new location where it could hit another nitrogen molecule. The work that's done by the electric force will be the strength of the force times the displacement. Now we should define a positive x direction. I'll let to the right be the positive x direction. With this in mind, our formula becomes negative q e delta x. This is similar to how the work done in lifting an object in a gravitational field would be given by negative mg delta y. In our problem, we know how much work is required 15 electron volts. And we just have to convert electron volts to joules. Now, one electron volt is defined as 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So with that conversion, we'll have 15 EV times 1.6 E minus 19 joules per EV. Set that equal to negative, negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That would be the charge of our electron. 
times e times 5e minus 6 meters. After solving, we get three million newtons per coulomb. Or 3.0 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. So if the electric field becomes strong enough that it reaches the level of 3 million newtons per coulomb, sparks and lightning may occur.